Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to make the chest piece for your character using the annotate tool inside of Blender. So let's get started. So I'm going to turn on the annotate tool. So press T to toggle this menu here. So here I'm going to start creating a design for the annotation. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can. And then later on I'll add some details. But right now I'm just going to focus on the basic shape. And it's just, just a rough idea. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. I just want it to be a little symmetrical because it just looks a little better. Okay. Now let's start creating the chest piece. Just create a good shape. I'm trying to make it a little bit more broad. Cover the whole area. And uh, if you make a mistake, if you want to undo something, you can press Control Z to undo a stroke, or you can just hold down Control while you have your annotate outs and you can erase stuff. So you know, I, just, I do that every now and then. So I'm, I do make mistakes. So that's like the first piece. We'll add more to it later, but uh, we're just going to keep going downward. So here I'm going to just kind of create like a arc. I'm going to make it a little wider though. Like that. These will be around the rib cage area, and they'll go around the side view rather than just fronts. Uh, but so far, you know, that's really all we need from the front view. Start creating some ab plates. You can make them like very slim, but I'm gonna make them a little bit more bulky. So that way they kind of look a little more armor, a bit more heavy, like Iron Man sort of. Repetitive, but it's here we're just gonna do a third one, but it's gonna be a little different. Just to add some variation. So here I might actually get rid of this arc for now because uh, it's kind of confusing. Try to keep it as simple as you can when planning, so that way you actually uh, have an easy time modeling. And then in the modeling stage, that's when you can add more details that you didn't really plan out. But um, here, get the idea. I'm just creating shapes, so I'm adding a little bit more detail to the surface here. I'm going to create two separate breast plates around the pecs. They're going to be kind of curved. I might undo these because they look kind of weird, uh, but you know, as long as you're happy with it. Just keep messing around with it. Make them a bit larger. That looks pretty good. And uh, like for the most part, that's a pretty good overall shape. It's pretty functional, and uh, I think it'll it won't cause any problems with rigging. So get the idea. But um, I'll kind of show you uh, what it looks like when I'm finished with planning outs. Right now I'm pretty much done, but uh, I still think it had to add a little more to it. So I'll see you here in a second. All right. So uh, this is my front piece. Uh, it's pretty much as far as I'm going to go with the planning. Uh, it's a little rough, but for the most part, I can tell how to model it, like each piece, uh, you know, just modeling the chest pieces and then modeling this section here and then the side parts and like each of these is like a piece that goes together and they should all like kind of link together. 
but um, we can model them individually, and they're pretty easy to do. And that's how you get it, like a whole like uh, piece together, like a chess piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and start modeling. All right, so uh, with the modeling, I'm going to go ahead and create a new plane, Shift A plane. It's gonna be on the feet. I'm gonna move it up. And here I'm just gonna start modeling this back piece to the chest, and then we'll model the pecs. And uh, you'll start to see the pattern once I do it. But once I show you how to do this, then you're pretty much set to make your own all the way through. It's really just making individual pieces that are pretty simple using a plane. Uh, but here, we're just following the chest and from the front view. I'm going to turn on subdivision surfaces. And I'm going to turn on the mirror modifier as well. Uh, but to make sure that the order is right, because right now it's it's actually incorrect. Which is not good. We need to move up the mirror modifier, and that'll fix that issue there. Uh, but here I'm just gonna follow the perspective while still making it look good from the side. And just here I'm gonna shoot outward. And um, drew from this one. And we're just following the back piece, just the shape. Alt M to merge vertices together. And then uh, here I'm just going to extrude again. It looks a little bit smooth around the corners, but we can fix that uh, with some extra edge loops. But right now I'm just going to follow the overall shape, and then we'll add those little sharp corners. That you see on the, sh the design right now that it's all smoothened out but you'll see here in a second so, it's pretty good so this isn't part of the design but this is a part of like three-dimensional like modeling and detailing so I'm gonna add a little bit of a ridge here down the middle that'll create a little more depth and like detail. Really the annotations there just to provide us the basic shape but from there we can actually go even further when we model. Modeling is where you sp spend more time in the details but planning should just be very basic just to get an idea. It's kind of a uh, it's not really a good idea to plan out the details in the annotation because it's it makes it kind of hard to understand. Just a piece of advice from me. Alright, so let's uh, make it a little bit more curved, because right now it's kind of flat. So I'm going to scale it on the y-axis, and that'll make it a little bit more angular, a 45 degree angle. The whole piece, and that looks pretty good so far, but uh, there's a little bit of problems. You basically get the idea. Here we're just gonna make sure that everything looks happy to your own eyes. It doesn't really matter, like to me, like how mine looks to you. Just as long as it looks happy to you, whatever, however it goes for you, that's all that matters. You don't have to copy it exactly, but um, that's pretty much the chest piece for the plane. And we can go ahead and start adding those corners. So here I'm going to make sure it looks sharp. Add edge loops. Control R to add edge loops. One here. And uh, here I'm just going to move this down a bit. Just to add some details. Looks nicer. And that looks pretty good. There we go. So that's the back piece to the chest piece. Now we're going to start adding some uh, the pecs, and I'll see you in a second. So I, I went ahead and uh, got rid of the, the bicep pieces. I mean, uh, not the bicep, the pecs. Just because uh, 
I didn't really think they looked that good, but the chest piece overall, I think still looks pretty good. But um, anyway, we're going to move on downward to the apps, and I'll show you how to do that just using a plane. And then you should probably get, get the hang of it from there. You'll see what I'm doing, and then you can probably do it on your own. So here I'm just going to follow the shape from the front view. Uh, <clears throat> try to keep it as low poly as you can first. So only like a couple of uh, faces here. Now we can uh, edit tits quite a bit easier. Just move it into position, follow the rib cage bits in the stomach. And pretty much get the idea. But um, now I'm gonna start adding those edge loops to sharpen it up a bit. So edge loop here, control R, control R again, and then control R right here. Now it'll sharpen it. Uh, make sure that there's no gaps right here. You don't wanna see the base mesh. So you want to kind of fill in just whatever looks good to you, but I just like that look. Looks pretty good. I'm going to try to make it a little bit sharper right here, just because I, I think it will look a little bit better, but um, you don't really have to do that. So there we go. So pretty much uh, with the rest of the pieces, we're going to do the same thing. We can actually just duplicate this piece that we're modeling right now and move downward. So here I'm just going to separate this one. Press L to select all of it. Once you have a face, press P to select and I'll separate it by selection and then we're going to just duplicate it. Scale down a bit and uh, just follow the shape of this middle section here. And I'll do the same here, and that'll be it for pretty much the abs. And I'll do the same for the sides here. So I'll see you when it's done, but uh, hopefully, you get the what I'm going for. It's pretty simple. All right, so uh, this is pretty much where I'm at so far, but uh, we still have a little bit more to do for this front piece. But um, you get the idea. I'm just basically Duplicating the face, moving it down, separating it, and then like make it into a new piece. And then you can do whatever you want with it once you have all your modifiers on. Because it acts like a cube, sort of. And you have like thickness and everything, but it's easier to work with because it's actually a plane. So you don't have to worry as much, uh, as much about the polygons. But here, I'm just modeling those pieces for my annotation for the sides. And they're wrapping around the ribs. And I'm going to keep going downward a bit. So here, this one's going to be a little different. It's going to actually be kind of like a waist. So here. Uh, I'm actually I'm going to use two, two separate pieces. So here, uh, I'm going to duplicate this face again. Make it easier to read. And I'm just going to go around the waist in the basically the front section here. This will be kind of like the belts. Uh, not, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. But I'm just going to be extruding and uh, just wrapping around and following the shape here. So see you here in a second. So here's the belts. Uh, I pretty much just used the faces here. And I duplicated one, moved it down, separated it, and then I uh, just kind of went from this to extruding this way, and then down a little bit, and then extruding that way. And make sure it wraps around the whole waist. You know, don't just uh, do it from front view. You gotta have to like do it from multiple angles. But uh, I think it's all right to go ahead and get rid of our annotation because I kind of know what I'm going for now. So here I'm just gonna erase the whole annotation, and then we can kind of go from here just with modeling. Uh, but from here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and start adding some sharpness to these ribs here. So that way they look more fit together and sharp. Control R, just adding edge loops to fill in those smooth spots and like make it sharper. And just try to fit them all together. Cover up the gaps to look nice. 
and make sure they're not really clipping through each other that much. Looks pretty good. Some edge, edge loops down here. Uh, but actually here we don't really need to add that many edge loops because we're going to be uh, basically adding more faces down the line. But I'm just focusing on the front chest, the uh, chest piece. So pretty much get the idea. But uh, now I'm going to start working on the covering this area. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So yeah, I'll see you here in a second. Alright guys, so this is my chest piece. All I did was apply all the modifiers and then I pressed Control J to join everything together once I had multiple selected. So if you select multiple pieces holding down Shift, Control J, that'll join them together to a single piece. But uh, I'm, I just did that for the chest piece, not the arms just yet. But uh, next time I'll work on the back piece using the annotate tool to sketch out our design. And if you like this video, just uh, please leave a, leave a like and subscribe if you can. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll answer them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.